Welcome, Aries, to your spiritual reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, using the Archangel Animal Cards for your spiritual growth, healing, and guidance. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Picking two animals for you. We have the elephant. Open your heart with the turtle. Well, and remember, friends, these could also be your spirit guides, um, animal spirit guides talking to you. We have more than one. Okay, so it could be both or maybe one, maybe none. <laughs> okay, but we have the elephant over here. Open yourself to true abundance. Um, and then over here you have the turtle. Be joyful and trusting. So with the elephant, open your self to the true abundances knowing that you have true abundances that the universe has enough for everyone so whatever it is that you're really looking for okay that is realistic we're not looking for pink unicorns um remember that that abundance does exist and that you can law and attract that and by opening yourself up with love and opening up your heart chakra these things are very um very very possible to get very quick Right? They don't have to take forever. Yep. Transformation. Taking a death card. Letting go of things that no longer serve you so that you can open up your heart chakras and allow yourself to open up to the abundance. Okay. Yes. Letting go of all the sadness. Anything that's keeping you down. Um, anything that keeps you underdetermined and not wanting to do things. Um, go ahead and nurture yourself with the queen of coins. Bringing in that prosperity. And if you do have a queen of coins who is, or one of these signs over here, we have uh, Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn, or Scorpio, and you're feeling like this person is holding you back from your abundance, you probably want to let this person go and go ahead and open yourself up so that you can find the love and the joy that you deserve. Um, with the turtle, be playful and trusting. Trust in yourself and have fun, right? Have fun. Life is fun. Life is supposed to be a little fun. It doesn't have to be so overwhelming. It doesn't have to be a challenge, right? Don't make everything a challenge. Get going. Get going on the things that you want. This way you can have the success and the progress that you have getting towards the abundance. Yes, towards the Ten of Cups that you're looking for. A lot of you, it's about love. Really wanting to let go of something that no longer serves you. This person cannot make you happy. The universe has lots of love out there. There's lots of love on this planet. There are other people. There are 7.4 billion people on this planet. And you can't tell me that Capricorn is the only one that was meant for you, but we can't get along. But I love them, but we can't get along. Or I'm going to let go of them and there's no one else on this planet for me. So I'm going to shut down my heart and say no more love because it hurts. No. No, you're here to learn to love. Spread the love. Have the fun. Trust other people. Try to trust them, right? Have the succession that you deserve. If you're just shutting yourself down, that doesn't bring any more love in. It doesn't bring any more prosperities in. It doesn't bring you the things that you want in abundance. Just because things get hard, then that means you need to get tougher. Right? So it says that the turtles suggests that you sometimes put your shell around you to protect your sensitive feelings. Yep, there it is. This also prevents the good from coming in. Your guidance is to let this wall down and place light around yourself instead. Through the turtle's tune into the jumbe and focus on abundance consciously. And we're talking about this a consciousness. So it's almost like you're putting this shell around yourself saying, I'm going to block all this love. Capricorn did me wrong. I'm not taking any love. Forget this. I'm not a part of this game. You are a part of this game until you're dead, my friends. You're here. So otherwise, you're just going to always put yourself into challenge mode, and you're not going to live life. You're going to shelter yourself away from life. Do you want to be happy, or do you want to be a zombie? Right? You can call in love, prosperity, happiness, joy, and all manner of good things. But be sure to visualize others and the whole planet receiving this stream of bounty with you. 
So when you're calling in love and you're calling in a soulmate and you're calling in someone who can give you love instead of saying, I'm not going to take love, you can turn around and say, you know what? I do want to have love, but I'm going to call in the right kind of person. I'm going to call in someone who is prosperous, nurturing, someone who's more like myself. And I'm going to give it the attention. I'm going to ask for this. I'm going to be very serious about this. And this is the way it's going to be. But if this person comes and you're blocking yourself because all of a sudden you're like, well, I can't take your cups of love. I'm sorry. I'm waiting for someone. That could have been the person. It's not like you're 100% going to know, right? You're going to have to take that chance. That's why you have to trust. So trust is in the, that the universe loves you and that everything will work out for the highest good. The rich and generous universe is ready to bring you plenty. So value who you truly are. And if you wish to sacrifice yourself for the majority, do so consciously. Sometimes we have to take a self-sacrifice. Sometimes we have to do these things to get the prosperous things that we want. We won't know 100% that it's them unless we take the what? Self-sacrifice, the leap of faith. The elephant card reminds you to keep your frequency high by having some fun. Now we have the joy and we have the fun. So they're really working together, right? That's the whole point. <laughs> it's the whole point. And playing around and being joyful. Whether you are male or female, Practice divine feminine qualities within every area of your life to ensure you have a strong and stable foundation for your spiritual life. Sit quietly and breathe into your third eye. That's that inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, right? Because you're inhaling and it's hitting the third eye, okay? And it's keeping everything calm and stable within yourself and your energy. Turning into the elephant kingdom, and Archangel Raphael, the awesome emerald angel of healing and abundance, then link into Jupiter and its ascended aspect. Jumbe. So, okay. To call in perfect health and cosmic abundance to bathe your consciousness, feel the energy, permeate your cells, and know that the universe supports your divine perfection and heart's desire. Then send out the stream of light to help build the crystalline web of light around our planet. And that crystalline light is that light that's infused within all of us. Because remember, we are a divine soul with a human experience, not a human, not a human with a divine experience, right? Okay, and so getting some of the self-care to get ourselves to this manifestation and really healing and opening ourselves up to the joy and the abundance we can. Dun, dun, dun. Self-care cards, breathe deeply. That's funny, we just said that. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And that's exactly what it is. Breathing deeply allows the vibrations of higher vibrations to come in and releasing the negative vibrations. So all lower vibrations go away as you cleanse the soul through, through deep breathing, allowing good vibrations, movement. You can do this while doing yoga. You can actually do a yoga stance and actually breathe deep. So any kind of movement you want, exercising, running, dancing, however you're going to do it, okay? And you can actually breathe deep while doing it. Drink tea. Tea actually relaxes the body and allows the positive energy to come through as it's releasing negative energy. You can now clear your mind just with herbal teas. Herbal teas are actually the better ones too. Caffeine might get you a little hyper um, and it can actually get the anxieties going. So you want to actually use an herbal tea, my friends, okay? And make a good meal. Okay, make a good meal for yourself. Make things that you love, things that satisfy your taste buds things that make you happy. Okay. And that's it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love.